Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is talking to you guys about the custom phone cases I designed for 25,000 subscribers. I hope you guys liked the last video, the vlog type video of Finland. Definitely had a good time. I'll talk more about it in future uh, videos, and also I'll have some more regular content coming out tomorrow in addition to the Patreon video because I want to get back on schedule with the regular content that I know you guys like to see. But for now, I'm talking to you guys about the first merchandise I have designed for this channel and that are the phone cases. So let's go ahead and take a look at how they're designed. So here it is. I hope you guys like the design. Uh, it's something I wanted to be able to apply to pretty much all Clash of Clans players. I didn't want to just say like One Hive Gazette because that wouldn't make as much sense to an outside viewer. So hopefully this is something you guys uh, can you know, enjoy, can spark a conversation if someone sees it and can be just kind of a cool accessory you guys have to show your interest not only in the channel but more importantly in Clash of Clans as a whole and I think the uh, the design is cool and the message is cool so I hope you guys uh, feel the same way. So anyway that is the design that is put on the cases. Um, I was able to get them to the point where they look pretty much they take up the entire case, they look natural. You guys will see the cases in just a moment. Uh, not only the uh, pictures online, but also the one I just got shipped to me, so you can see firsthand what it looks like. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. But finally, in terms of price, which you guys will also see in just a moment once I show you guys the website, I tried to keep it as low as possible, and um, there is an option for markup. The markup is very slim on the actual case. Most of what you're paying is just going to Cafe Press, which is the uh, manufacturer. Um, it is a little bit more expensive than I would have liked, mainly because of the fact that they're kind of high quality cases. There's a lot of options and uh, they're custom and there's gonna be a low volume of purchases, at least a relatively low volume. I'm not gonna be selling thousands or probably hundreds of these um, just you know, to my subscribers mainly. So uh, all those factors drive up the price. But that being said, let's hop over to the website. It is Cafe Press. The uh, link will be in the description, but it's cafepress.com slash onehivegazette. So pretty easy to find, but I will link it in the description for you guys. Um, ignore all the other things on here, the home and decor, all those tabs. Um, there's no home and decor, uh, home decor, web, one hive, merchandise it's just the phone cases all those tabs i just left there i didn't want to waste a ton of time trying to customize this website too much but it has the basic stuff you need to to view the phones to order them and i had absolutely no problem getting my own uh, which you will see in just a moment so going ahead and taking a look at the one i got this is the iphone 6 uh, slash 6s tough case i got for my iphone 6 you can see how the image covers the entire case. It just looks really natural on there, not like a slapped on sticker type thing. It prints over the entire back of the case, and you'll see a little bit more about that when I show you guys the one I got. So pretty cool. Um, going back out here, we can take a look at another one. Uh, but also, I want to let you guys know there is a shipping fee, just so you are aware of that. It varies depending on where you live and what type of shipping you receive if you get the expedited or just the regular shipping. Here's the iPad case. You can see it didn't quite print over the entire back of it. That's because the iPad case is too wide. So it doesn't look quite as good on the iPad case, but I did want to make one just in case you still want to buy it. It still looks okay, just not covering the entire thing like it does for the Galaxy uh, S7 right here. I made the image low enough that the camera won't cover it. So the, the camera hole in the case will not uh, touch the warning sign. So that way you don't have to worry about it getting cut off or anything. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at my case though. Um, I am a basic white girl, so I have an iPhone, uh, a white iPhone, and it's the iPhone 6. So I got the 6 uh, slash 6S hard case. There is like a soft case option as well, but I went for the um, slightly more expensive hard case option. And uh, I'm actually extremely happy with how it looks. You can see very high quality, actually. I was a little bit wondering how Cafe Press would turn out. It's not like a hugely popular site like uh, Teespring, which I know a lot of YouTubers use, but it actually came up huge for me with uh, some awesome print jobs. So you can see here, this is just the basic um, inner uh, casing, I guess you can call it. It's uh, the stretchy rubber, soft rubber, then the hard case on the back uh, that's very shiny and has the image over the entire thing. It also has the white, um, which kind of makes a cool white stripe on your phone. I actually think it looks kind of neat, but 
um, yeah, you can see a little bit of white when it actually goes on. So there's the uh, first case on it, pretty easy to slip on there. And we'll toss the uh, other case on, just kind of snap it over, and uh, that'll do it. Pretty easy assembly, and uh, looks pretty awesome. It does have those white stripes uh, yeah, from the over casing, but actually I think it looks even cooler that way. I don't know about a black iPhone, I think it would still look fine, but um, that's how it looks. You can see, turn it around a little bit. Um, very cool stuff. So anyway, um, it, it's going to look slightly different if you have a different phone model, but that's about how it's going to look. I think it's safe to say, and I'm definitely pleased with how it looks. I hope you guys are as well. Hope you like the design. If you have ideas for other designs, I'd definitely consider them so you can put ideas in the comments, although this is going to be the main one going forward, at least for the near future. So I'll put that down right there so you guys can see it. Uh, but to wrap up this video, I hope um, it's something you guys at least consider. You have to kind of make your own decision on the price point if you think it's worth it, because I know some people just like getting the cheap cases off overstock, which is definitely an option, a very uh, economical option if that's the road you want to go for your phone cases. Uh, but anyway, that is it for this video. Like I said, um, you can go to OneHive or CafePress.com slash OneHiveGazette to buy your case. Link is in the description. And I'll be back tomorrow with another Clash video to kind of get back on track a little bit um, in the middle of this 25K celebration series. I want to have some Clash uh, videos as well to keep you guys uh, with your daily or at least semi-daily dose of clash. So thanks for watching. Hope you like the cases and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bisectatron out.